All right, so we're going to start our volume unit. And before we start talking about volume specifically, we need to understand that volume deals with 3D shapes. And we need to, before we can start finding specific volumes, we have to know how to name our 3D shapes. So we can classify 3D shapes in two different ways. We can classify them as prisms, and we can classify them as pyramids. So we have multiple things that determine if it is a prism or a pyramid. So prisms are going to have two base shapes. These base shapes are always, always, always parallel to each other. A pyramid, however, will only have one base shape. And since there's only one, it obviously cannot be parallel. The second thing that differentiates prisms from pyramids is that pyramids have rectangular sides. Whereas pyramids have triangular sides. Okay, so if we were to draw a 3D Say a rectangular prism, you can see here that if I needed to, I could shade my, my base shapes would be these rectangles that are in fact parallel to each other, and then I have my sides. If I wanted to draw, um, say, a square pyramid, this is not my forte, so we'll try real hard where the square is in fact my base shape. And then you can see that I do have triangle sides. Um, so that is what we're first thing we're gonna work on is naming our shapes. Now you'll notice on both of these, I took my yellow highlighter and I shaded in my base. It is really important that you identify, sorry about that, uh, your base shape um, because the shapes are named after their base. Okay, so we would call this a rectangular prism, and then we would call this one a uh, square pyramid. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do, I've put both of these PDFs into Google Classroom for us, and um, I just want to practice with you shading the base and naming the figure, and you do, in fact, on this first one that we're going to look at, we do have um, a word box, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose my highlighter. I'm going to shade my base so I can see that this, in fact, is a triangular base. So I'm going to call this a triangular. Then I can look at my sides. My sides are, in fact, uh, triangles also. So this is a pyramid. All right, on number two, here are my bases. The bases don't necessarily have to be the top and the bottom. If we wanted, we could have... Um, shaded the sides here. They are in fact still parallel, so it doesn't actually matter. So um, we can go ahead and we can call this, um, we know it's a prism because the sides are rectangular. Um, we could call it a square prism. We could call it a rectangular prism. Um, it really doesn't matter because technically they're the same. So we can just call this a square prism. I would take rectangular also. Um, here I'm gonna look down. We've got, um, so we have a square base and my sides are triangular, so this is gonna be a pyramid. It's really important that you name your shape. That way you can um, make sure that you choose the right formula when we get to that point. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. A six-sided is a hexagon, hexagonal, and the sides are in fact a rectangle, prism. Here I have, notice 
the rectangles are not parallel. The triangles are. So this is a triangular prism. Here, we have one, two, three, four, five sides. So this is going to be a pentagonal. The sides are, in fact, triangular pyramid. Um, then we have something called a polyhedron. So a polyhedron is going to have um, straight edges, okay? So this is essentially a, poly a not a polyhedron is going to be anything that is curved. So when we look at... This is your GTFI piece. This is a cone. So this is not a polyhedron. But this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an octagonal. The sides are rectangular prism. And this is a polyhedron. Poly meaning many sides. And then here, Again, we have a pyramid. We can call this a square pyramid. So this is also a polyhedron. So what I would like you to do um, is in the PDF, I have a second piece for you. You can just do this um, in your journal. You don't have to draw the shape. You can simply... Um, write the name of it. If you're worried about the polyhedron part, don't, on this bottom part, you can just name it. And then I will post the answer key for you to check yourself. Have a great day.